Kiara the killer whale, her first moments of life at SeaWorld captured on camera. Now, at only three months old, she's dead. Veteran trainer Julie Sigmund was with Kiara when she succumbed to pneumonia. You heard the last heartbeat or you felt the last movement? Um, she, she stopped breathing and after a period of time and then we were, yes, we, we knew fairly quickly. And at that point, you're helpless? Ah, yeah. Kiara's birth marked the end of an era, the last orca that would ever be born in captivity at SeaWorld after the company shut down its controversial breeding program in the face of protests. This time has ended. People want these animals to live natural lives. Animal rights activists have long opposed the wild capture, which is now outlawed, and SeaWorld's orca shows. But backlash against SeaWorld exploded in 2013 after the documentary Blackfish questioned the ethics of keeping killer whales in captivity. I believe Blackfish was a, a part of the reason why the pendulum started to swing, uh, not in our direction. As children signed a sympathy card inside the park today, protesters gathered outside the park. Trainers attended to Kiara's mother, Takara. She's now one of 22 remaining orcas at SeaWorld. Eventually, there will be none. I believe that she's going to be okay. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, San Antonio. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.